Welcome, my name is Colleen Tauke and I'm a sewing specialist at Fonz and Porter. In this Quilting Quickly tutorial, I'm going to show you how to put together the blocks for the quilt called Stoplight. For the pattern for this quilt, you can visit our website and how to purchase that. And what we're going to be doing is working with um, all two and a half inch strips. Now this is rated as an easy quilt. This would be a great for a beginner who's already accomplished um, some cutting and piecing skills and it could be put together very quickly. Or it could be done as a, as a um, team project um, with one person cutting and coordinating and another person stitching and pressing. So we're going to begin with those two and a half inch wide strips and from each of the strips um, that are required you're going to be cutting four rectangles like this and three squares from each of the piece strips in your set. Then it's time to start creating. We're working toward a block that looks like this. The nice part about this is that the rectangles that you've cut, a lot of times when you go to put together a block, rectangles on one side are one si a size and the opposite are longer. Here they're the same size around, so the nice part about quick construction here. So we're going to be digging into our stack of three squares, and I've got three here. So we can put three, creating the um, stop light effect. So we have our, um, the three lights that you see every day as you go to and from work. <laughs> we're just using a little different color combination there. So simple seaming, quarter inch seam here and here, and you can press your seam allowances in either direction. It won't make a difference at this point. So once you have that center piece assembled, this would be a great way to, if you're um, as a beginner or if you're teaching someone, to work at the pressing skills because there's little small pieces. It's a great way to um, learn how to press and not to iron so you don't distort because you want to have this stay as a nice um, parallel um, three-piece patch. Once you have this assembled, then you're going to come in and put a rectangle on each side, seaming here and here, and then pressing seam allowances um, toward the rectangle because there would be less um, stress on it turned towards the rectangle because of the seams here. And then once you've gotten that accomplished, you would be at this point. You can see here that the seam allowances are pressed toward those rectangles, nice and neat. And then the last two rectangles, top and bottom, again, seaming right sides together. You could place those and then seam a quarter inch from each end, flip out again, pressing your seam allowances toward the outer edge, and you can see that is done here. Now I've stitched with red thread so that you could see where my seams were. You would be probably stitching with a cream or a light gray tan color thread, very neutral. Now you go down through all of the pieces that you cut and you create blocks like these. The fun part about this is the arrangement as you can create as much fun with these as you'd like. I'll even put a second row, start a second row down here, and you can create lots of fun um, stoplights. Now this is an arrangement, because these are rectangles that are narrow and tall, it's nine rows across, seven down, and with a great navy blue binding, you've created your version of stoplight. For more of our videos, visit our, our website. Thanks for joining me today.